Hi everyone, this is Cooking with Kurt. Today my husband Donald and I are going to show you how to make ube mamon, which are traditional Filipino mini chiffon cakes baked in small cupcake-like molds. This recipe was requested by a lot of you and we hope you like this video. To start, take four eggs and separate them into egg yolks and egg whites. Let these come to room temperature. Then preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we're going to take 12 of these egg tart or brioche molds. These are the same molds we used for our ube and saimada video with a top diameter of 3.8 inches. You can use any size you like. You'll just have more or fewer mamon cakes if you use a smaller or larger size respectively. Alternatively, you can also use cupcake liners. Line just the bottom of these molds with a small circle of parchment paper. Do not grease the sides or the parchment paper. Arrange the molds evenly on a large sheet pan. We're not greasing the molds because chiffon cakes like this need to stick to the sides of the molds when rising. They'll automatically pull away from the sides when cooling, making them easy to remove from the molds. Next, take a non-reactive bowl like glass or stainless steel and a sieve and add in one cup of cake flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one third cup of granulated sugar, and half a teaspoon of salt. Sift this together. Then add in four egg yolks, one third cup of vegetable oil, one third cup of whole milk, one fourth cup of ube halaya, two teaspoons of ube extract, and half a teaspoon of purple food coloring. Beat this with an electric mixer till it's just combined. Next, we're going to make the meringue mixture. In a separate glass or stainless steel bowl, add the four room temperature egg whites, half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, and beat them together with an electric mixer on low speed till it's nice and frothy, about one minute. Then turn the speed to medium and very slowly add in one third cup of sugar while continuing to beat this mixture. Adding the sugar too quickly may deflate the egg whites. When all the sugar is added, increase the speed to high and continue beating. When you start to see stiff glossy peaks like this, the meringue mixture is done. We're gonna slowly add this meringue mixture to the ube cake mixture and gently fold it in one third of the meringue mixture at a time till it's well combined. Be careful not to knock out any air from the beaten egg whites and really scrape the bottom of the bowl for unmixed cake mixture. Then evenly distribute this batter into the 12 prepared molds or cupcake liners if that's what you're using. This amount of batter should be perfect for 12 egg tart molds that have a top diameter of 3.8 inches. Each mold should only be filled about three-fourths of the way up. I'm adding approximately one-fourth cup of batter to each mold. Do not fill it to the brim as this chiffon batter will expand in the oven. We're going to bake these in our preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Or until a toothpick comes out clean. Let them rest in the molds for about five minutes. When the molds have cooled down a bit, carefully invert the molds onto a flat surface lined with parchment paper to unmold the mamon cakes. Peel off the parchment paper circles they were baked with and then transfer them top side up onto a cooling rack. Melt about two tablespoons of unsalted butter and while the mamon cakes are still warm, lightly brush the top of each mamon with butter. Just a very thin layer of butter. You can eat these immediately, or you can store them in an airtight container for one to two days at room temperature, or three to four days in the fridge. If you are putting them in the fridge, make sure to let them come to room temperature before serving, as chiffon cakes tend to seem dry and dense when eaten cold. And there it is, ube mamon, moist, soft, and buttery mini chiffon cakes. Ang sarap! Mmm, yum! Mm. So good. That ube flavor is always a winner. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you all so much for watching. Please let us know in the comment section below if you're planning to make this ube mamon. Send us pictures of your creations on Facebook and Instagram. The links are below. 
And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Cooking with Kurt. And don't forget to click on the bell so you get notified when we post new cooking videos. Maraming salamat!